2025 is done. And so what are the AI tools that I will be using daily for 2026? I'm stuck in an airport. I might as well show you. I'm going to take out my laptop. I'm going to take you inside of it. And these are the ones I use regularly. Let's go. Whisper flow. All right. If you've already using it, type me. If you haven't heard of it, be like, I ain't never, I ain't never heard of it. Nick. I don't know what this is. If you've ever been on my live and you see me just talk and not type, this is the reason why. This is an amazing text to speech that is better than the Apple one or the Android one. I don't know what y'all use. No, that's no, no, there's no shade. I just don't know. I just, I just, I just don't know. Okay. But, um, this has helped me get a lot of my ideas out, do a lot of emails, do a lot of response, interact with AI a little bit better. And I don't have to worry about typing at all. Um, and it's free. You feel me? It's free. There's the link. It's f free. And I use it on my phone now too. Free. And I saw, um, I saw a TikTok. Let me, let me pull that up because we're going more into a world of where you just speak what you, what you want to do. I'm going to, I'm going to show you it real quick. Um, you just have to speak it. So everything that I type, yeah, it's, it's free. Yes. Yeah, now, if you want to get super, like you want to get into the pro level, absolutely go, go into the pro level. I recommend it if you want to, but you literally can do this for the, on the free plan every single day. Okay. And here we go. I found it. I found it. Here we go. Let me pull this up. Okay, man. Check this out. Gen Alpha will soon ditch the computer keyboard based on new research. According to the London School of Economics, the next generation of workers will no longer type out emails. Instead, they'll use voice notes. A report predicts the technology could be the default mode of communication for businesses by 2028. So they're already on it. Uh, I've been using it for, I think, over a month. I got my, I got Brandon on it. I got Isaiah on it. You know what I mean? So whisper flow, all right? Second thing that I am bringing into 2026. Notion. <laughs> notion, 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 notion. When I say notion... It is everything for me. When I tell you I have Notion AI because Notion, a lot of the things that I'm doing now when it comes to Claude and ChatGPT and things like that, they have all the different models right here, okay? But when I tell you I'm about to get real nasty with Notion, so y'all know I have my dashboard where I have everything here, but I'm starting to make a, a content HQ where I'm starting to go from like brain to system. And so I'm being intentional with what are my top threads, right? And so here are all my top threads so I can get Notion AI to analyze it. And when I put this transcription that I'm doing, right, it will make some of the top threads that I've done. YouTube titles. I'm starting to document more and more and allowing Notion AI to make different databases from it, different dashboards from it. Notion is literally my second brain, literally that. And so even I'll, I'll share, let me see if I can pull it up. Even from like written content, I have all my workflows in here that all I have to do is point to it instead of training AI outside of it. And it creates all of my content. I'm gonna show more of that in, inside of Lion's Behavior, but Notion AI, Notion is something that I'm taking really, really serious for 2026. If you use Notion, let me know. The next AI, and this is for people who are serious. I know this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know this one is not gonna be for everybody, but this one is 
for those who take content real serious. And that is Poppy AI. Okay. Poppy AI wants it, I'm being I'm being really intentional with my workflows. Okay. And so where I'm every task that I want to do, whether it's making different YouTube titles, whether it is a whole content workflow. And this is, this was inspired by Gary. So shout out, so shout out to Gary, right? Where I'm analyzing some of the people that inspire me. Shout out to Roberto, shout out to Jordan, shout out to Amanda, right? And from a short form to a long form. And now I'm having two sequences of something that helps me write my script from a short form and from a long form, all in my own voice, okay? Poppy AI, this is where you don't have to get anything transcribed. This is another one that has all the AI models. It has ChatGPT, it has Claude, it has Gemini. It makes images um, inside of here as well. So uh, would love a Poppy, I got y'all. That, that's something for 2026, for those people who are in lion's behavior, I'm being more intentional with the templates and the workflows. That, so this is one that I've been working on uh, on a serious tip with the video stuff as well as uh, the video, the YouTube stuff. But I want it to be more, not just only of things that have inspired you, but also based off of your data. So Poppy AI has been a game changer. I write my newsletters on it. Uh, I do my research on it. You feel me? Um, so y'all know I love Stephen Barlett. One day I'm going to meet this dude. I don't know in what capacity, but one day I'm going to meet this, this dude. So he has the best hooks. I've learned like, okay, help me. What was the example? I gave a, I gave an audio idea, like I said it through audio, and it helped me write the, the hook, right? What if growing to 50,000 subscribers was simpler than you think? I did that on a video. It was fire, right? So, as I said, I know Poppy AI, it's a year, uh, a year or a lifetime pricing, so just put that in your budget soon. Not soon, this year, 2026. Put that in your budget for 2026 from those who really want to make workflows, who really want to start, like, I put a new idea in and it created everything for me, okay? The next one, I have one more. One more AI tool that I'm bringing into 2026, okay? And you've heard it probably two three times today and that is the all great Higgsville AI <laughs> let me show you so real quick I I made this with with Higgsville with AI right Nipsey inspired where the trend it starts with him and then it transitions to him to the car. They have something called transitions right here where you're seeing a lot of them on, on, uh, on social media. So you've probably seen the Raven transition, right? Uh, the fly camera transition was the one that I tried. And all you need is a start and, a, and an end point and it'll do it for you, right? So. That is something that I've been using. I do my thumbnails through here. So let me see if I can show the, the, the thumbnail that I created for this live. I did that here. I created the, the background that I've been doing inside. So, so Higgsville is an all-in-one situation. It does your images. It does your videos. It keeps you inspired because it has a whole explore page. Uh, for those people who are thinking about how do I monetize AI, learn how to create these AI videos for other people, right? Because we think, 
Oh, everybody's using it. No. No, not everybody's using it. Okay? So if you use Higgsfield AI, type me. Um, so that's, that's my uh, AI tech stack for 2026. I got Whisperflow. I got Notion. I got Poppy AI and Higgsfield. I have some others like Opus Clip and all of that. That's a that's another live, but the immediate what I'm using all the time, like every single day, is going to be Whisperflow, Notion, Poppy AI, and Higgsfield.